Traders, I'm gonna end uh, my trading day today at a very unpleasant loss. As you can see here, um, I've got several losers, but uh, let's let's first talk about what I want to talk about today. Uh, there's two things I would like to discuss today in this uh, short lesson that we're going to have now. One is market direction and the second one, which obviously I misread today so far. And the second one is uh, success rate. I'll start, with, um, I'll start with my success rate because you can see here my result, which is uh, terrible for the day. Actually, my buy to trade is still in green territory, so I may, <laughs> let's just call it red too, you know what? So if I'm going to have uh, my buy to trade in red, then I would have five losing trades today because you can see the M here, which is, uh, uh, which is um, I, I had two losing trades in the M. So I already have four losing trades. By the I don't know, it's playing in between green and red all the time. So let's see later. But you know, there's one thing I said on Friday. My last 13 trades on Friday uh, were green which is like a new world record for me. I don't, I don't normally, I can't remember the last time I had uh, 13 consecutive red, green trades. And if I, I, I went even farther and I checked that my last 20 trades, I had uh, one losing trade in my last 20 trades. That is of course not including today. And if I'm gonna have like four or five losing trades today, which means 19 out of 25 trades, I'm just back to my averages. I'm back to my average, like 72% or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. So just over 70%. My average, long time average is 68% uh, green trades. And uh, I just went back to my averages. So you see, I, I said something and I, I, I kind of meant it as a joke on Friday, but it was partly joke, partly real. I said, don't follow my next trades because I know I'm going to back, go back to my averages. It's like, it's just like that. You, 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 you can succeed more than 70% of the time. It's just kind of impossible in trading. We say, um, you know, that uh, usually a good trader is considered to be over 60% uh, and um, very good traders considered to be over 65%, over 70% is God. So I don't. I, I don't have 70%, I'm under. And I just went back to my averages in big time. So I'm down like $30,000 here, as you can see. Actually, I've got like uh, 10 grand right now in Baidu. And uh, if, if for any reason it's gonna come down under the lows and I could save some of my um, miserable trades in the other, uh, other trades I took. But that's just one part of the things I want to discuss with you today. Uh, the other part is market direction because I think that's important to also understand why I had losing trades today. I was expecting the market to come down. Here's the S&P 500 in one hour candle. Each candle here is one hour. If you take a look at uh, the several last days, you can see that we are clearly trending lower. Also, take a look at the growing volume. You can see that the volume is growing as we move lower. We had a big spike up on Friday, but that's more like a dead cat bounce. Well, of course, I don't know what's coming next, and I'm getting a little bit uh, surprised about what's happening today, because you can see that today we are moving up as well. But that, the S&P is up 0.7%, so it's not a huge move up, and we're still, in my opinion, downtrending. Now, Take a look at the Nasdaq. Last week, I mentioned that if we're gonna come down under 310, which is the line I painted right over here, then we're likely to have a breakdown. Indeed, we had a big breakdown. As you can see, we went all the way down to 298 or so. So that was a big breakdown right over here once we came under 310. It's a big support line at the Nasdaq and we crossed it recently. Now again, if you take a look at the Nasdaq daily, you can see that we are coming down again with a big upside move on Friday. And now the Nasdaq is actually at zero. Oh, in fact, a little bit down 0.3%. So what's coming next? Well, what you're seeing here is a classic, again, I'm looking at the Nasdaq. What you're seeing here is a classic retest of the breakdown point. What we have here is a situation where the market, or in this case the Nasdaq, breaks down 
and then returns to the point which was support and now becomes resistance. I'm not going to get into all the details of why does support become resistance. It's a relatively long story, but um, you need to know that what was a support is likely to become likely to become resistance. Therefore, it should be extremely hard for the Nasdaq to move over today's highs. And today's highs is the 310. So we did move up, which is also kind of Friday's highs. So we did move up. We did hit the head in the resistance of the 310. And from here, um, again, technically speaking, just technically speaking, that should be the point where we start coming down. That was my assumption when we started trading today. And I was wrong because the S&P moved over the highs and the S&P is really what counts, not the Nasdaq. And this one hour move you're seeing here in the S&P uh, was kind of a surprise to me. That's why I went uh, short and uh, not only did I go short, I was green at the time, but I, let, I did let my trades ride because I was expecting the market to fail and come down. I don't think I made the, right, the wrong assumption. I mean, I, obviously, right now I'm red, but I'm, I'm still waiting for the market to fail. I'm not sure I'm right, and I'm not sure it will fail. But I should be more right than wrong, assuming that the market is likely to come down. Yes, I paid for it because it just didn't work. But it could be just timing. I'm still riding Baidu here, and Baidu could kind of change a little bit my situation for the day. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll have to wait a little bit longer. I'll ride it a little bit more. And if I'm right, then the market could be topping over here and could be coming down. What I do want you to look at is the fact that the S&P is trending lower. The Nasdaq is trending lower. The volume is growing. You can see that also on the Nasdaq. Look at the several few months. You see that the volume is growing. And also the fact that we broke down under 310, and at that point, we are only coming back up to the retest point uh, and hitting the head of the Nasdaq in what is a very strong resistance, which was a very strong support. So am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. One thing for sure, I came back to my averages. <laughs> I'm back to the 70% area. And... Um, that's something uh, you can assume will happen to you too. Well, we just, we, we, we can't, it's almost impossible to sit at a rate of, uh, I don't know, 30 green trades, which I had last week. Well, that's it. Um, I'm going to finish in red and I'm going to see you all tomorrow. I'm hoping for a better day and uh, hopefully um, can help you more tomorrow. Although the rest of the analysts here did very well. Scott, Yogi, uh, if you're on YouTube, um, please give us a thumb up. Not for my trades today, but uh, definitely for Yogi's and Scott. And um, I'll see you all here tomorrow. So really appreciate if you do that. And I'll see you. Bye-bye, traders. Stay green.